I used to be a Mouseketeer. Yeah. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> it's the credit that just won't die. <laughs> yeah, that was me. For six years and seven seasons, I did the, uh, the roll call right alongside Brittany and Justin and Christina. And I, I know what you're all thinking. Lindsay who? I don't remember you, but it's fine, neither does Christina. She never calls or writes or texts or tweets, but it's fine. I don't feel angry or bitter or jealous or suicidal at all. Um, not, at, not even a little bit. When, uh, when people find out I was on the show with all these kids who have enormous careers now, um, they say, Lindsay, what, 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 what happened to you? <laughs> and I tell them, I went to college. <laughs> what a giant mistake <laughs> that was. Um, I actually remember my brother asking me at the time, are you really going to waste all that money on an education? <laughs> I should have listened to him. Apparently he knew there would be a reality TV explosion and being ignorant and uneducated would be all the rage. <laughs> <laughs> but getting back to me, the unknown musketeer. The good news about my predicament is that uh, ABC will eventually run out of people. <laughs> That's why I'm wearing sequins. Because they're going to be forced to invite me onto Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Won't it be so fun backstage in the green room, rubbing sequined elbows with flow from the progressive ads? <laughs> Jared of Subway fame and a bitter middle-aged Surrey Cruise. <laughs> <laughs>